Hello everyone, so yes, believe it or not guys, Shmi150 has bought a hypercar, and instead of buying a Bugatti, Pagani, Koenigsegg, Ferrari F50 or McLaren B1, Shmi has gone out and splashed around 1.6 million dollars on the Zanvo TS RS, a near as makes no difference 1200 horsepower hypercar from Denmark. But why did he skip past all of those illustrious brands, and what exactly will this car look like when he receives it? You're watching on Anorak, and we're gonna find out right now. <laughs> So first of all, let's do a recap on the car. The Zanvo TSRS is a highly updated version of the Zanvo hypercar. You may remember the ST1, which had a rather unfortunate rep in the press as it became a little bit more orange than Zanvo wanted it to be. Think of it as like a Koenigsegg CCX. Then they developed the TS1, which was the equivalent of an Agera, and now they have Shmi's car, the TSRS, which is like their version of the Koenigsegg Agera RS, especially since it has many similar attributes. It's got a very similar horsepower figure, around 1200 horsepower and it has a V8 but this V8 is a 5.8 litre twin supercharged one like the older Koenigseggs. Like Koenigseggs it is also draped in carbon fibre which can be fully customised to the owner's desire. It looks amazing. Now the coolest features in this car are definitely the transmission and the wing. The transmission is called a hybrid sequential gearbox and incorporates an electric motor to help the 7 speed sequential gearbox smoothen shifts throughout the straight cut gears. Now that all sounds very complicated but I'll just let you listen to it and you can see why that's so cool. Next, it's got a centripetal multi-axis rear wing. Now, if that sounds crazy, that's because it is. This wing moves from side to side to increase downforce where it is needed most. And look, regardless of the effectiveness of this, my main concern is the sheer amount of cutting edge tech in the Zenvo and how reliable it will actually be for Shmi. The Zenvo don't have the billions of development spend that Bugatti have and don't seem to have a nearby servicing network. The next question about this car is why Shmi bought it? We're all aware of a few of Tim's dream hypercars. They include the Ferrari F50, Porsche Courier GT, Aston Martin 177, Bugatti Chiron, and McLaren P1. Of course, four of those cars are completely out of Shmi's budget, but P1s and Career GTs can be easily snatched up for around a million pounds. Yet he went for the Zenvo, a car rarely discussed before from Denmark. The YouTube algorithm is also catered towards cars that the wider audience searches for. It mainly consists of Lamborghinis, Ferraris, McLarens, and Bugattis in the hypercar world. Even Koenigseggs and Pagani still aren't well known enough to do very well with the YouTube algorithm for the most part. So a Zenvo seems extremely counterproductive. Strabman claimed that the large investment in the Bugatti that he bought made sense financially for the channel because of how memorable the Bugatti name is. People would know him for that car, whereas Zenvo is a car that people might confuse with some sort of sportswear company. Let's not forget that brand prestige is important for resale value as well, and that hypercars are notoriously difficult to sell, even with big brand names. So the car doesn't appear to be a long-term dream car. It might not hold its value, and it has a much lower chance of doing well on the channel versus something like a McLaren. P1. So why do I think Tim has bought this car? Well, firstly, and this is a prediction, not a fact, Shmi may have got a good deal in this car. Zenvo is a hypercar brand seldom discussed in the car world, and when people do discuss it, they generally say, ah, yeah, that, that, that's the car that went on fire in Top Gear, isn't it? Tim, as a guy that covers the world of living the supercar dream, is the perfect man for the job of elevating Zenvo's brand image. I can see why they may be inclined to work out some sort of deal with him. This deal may not necessarily be financial, but Zenvo may be able to give him a greater involvement involvement in the car's manufacturing process versus other manufacturers, which is very important for his channel. Secondly, and linking to that, this is the perfect car to present the process of buying a hypercar, and it's probably the only sub $2 million hypercar that you can buy brand new with over a thousand horsepower. If you bought something like a Career GT, he wouldn't be a part of that unique specking process that he loves so much. And thirdly, I reckon Shmi does genuinely love this car. It is right up his street. Shmi loves V8s, he loves tech, and he adores track-focused hypercars. The Senate in his Schmuseum is the perfect example of this. You could tell that he thoroughly enjoyed his experience in this car when it visited the Schmuseum, and I do think it'll be a great fit for him. Finally, let's talk about what we know about Schmie's personal Zenvo. It's going to be delivered mid next year in a left hand drive specification, probably because selling a right hand drive Zenvo may be an incredibly difficult process. The car will also be in a bright bold colour, maybe an orange, lime green, or volcano red colour. I think this would look amazing in lime green, like the TS1 
that press card. Let me know what you guys think down below. What color should Shmi spec this car? But I think the lime green would perfectly emulate the sort of aggressive persona of this car. Regardless of everything I've said though, I really do hope that this is a very reliable car and I hope that Shmi is able to rejuvenate the Zenvo brand image and make it a household name in the hypercar world because I think it deserves it. So Tim, on behalf of Automotive YouTube, congratulations on this magnanimous milestone for the Shmi garage. The very first hypercar with over a thousand horsepower. It's fair to say that we're all pretty buzzed for this one. And that's it. Please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day, guys.